Good blessed to the Monday, uh, I guess I can say night, uh, June the 14th, 2021, it's about, uh, 8.34 uh, uh, p.m. Early to the day, about, uh, 10, 10 a.m., I was showing y'all when they was out here, uh, they was priming the streets out here and then uh, putting uh, some uh, tar back down. Uh, they wasn't going to put all that they wanted to put down, but they were going to put down enough to open the streets back up, but they put down enough because the uh, another crew going to come that do the sewage. But I just wanted to show y'all that when the community speaks, uh, they demand that the politicians listen. You see, I took y'all over there Sunday on the 13th of uh, June. I took y'all, uh, which was Sunday yesterday, I took y'all over there to uh, the near north side, what used to be the Cabrini Green, and showed y'all how them streets is over there in that little area there. But when you go across the street on any one of them, uh, or down the streets, you know, you got what they call uh, River North and... <clears throat> A whole different thing. But this whole street was cleared today in this area where I'm at. And it's uh, uh, mixed. It's, it's Spanish. It's, it's Puerto Ricans, uh, Mexicans, and blacks. And the crew that was uh, fixing on, on the streets, it was black, Puerto Ricans, and Mexicans. You know, and that, that go to show you that uh, it's, 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 it's a unity in people asking for, uh, people asking for a, a diverse workforce. Down in Charleston, Missouri, uh, where I'm staying, uh, they was fixing on the streets by the projects, and uh, it wasn't a diverse thing. It wasn't no, no people of color, period. But you know, when people don't complain, you see what I'm saying? And don't bring it to their politicians. You don't get stuff done. You know, a lot of people say, I'd be talking loud and ain't saying nothing. But I want to show y'all these streets now. Y'all remember it was tore up this morning and they was fixing it up. Take a look at it now. They even got the cross rock, uh, crosswalk uh, ready. Only reason you see the sewage is up like that because they're going to fix on the sewage. Look up and down here, y'all. Y'all see how they done opening it back up? You don't see the signs or nothing on there. You know, it's it's just sometimes you have to, you know, a, 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 a silent, a, a closed mouth can't be fed or won't be fed. And a silent voice can't be heard. You see what I'm saying? I met a lot of people uh, uh, on this block and in this area that's, uh, that's diverse. And one thing about it. They love to hear what I'm talking about. The few cars that you've seen uh, that was out there that, that wouldn't move while they was doing this, the people had a tow truck for them. And it wasn't going to cost you nothing to get your car back, but they'll just put it somewhere and you have to go find it. And people complain about that, but why complain about something when your street is tore up and they trying to do it like this here for you? You see what I'm saying? They trying they try to make your streets look good for you. Look at that, the dog even, the dog even talking about it. But let me, let me say this here, and I'm, I'm going to go. People, when you won't change, sometimes you can't ask for it. You got to demand it. It's one thing that I demand from all human beings uh, is respect. If you can't give me no respect, then it's, it's best to stand your distance. That way everything can stay, stay peaceful. You know, some people want to live, some human beings, they want to live in harmony. On this block that I'm on now, they living in harmony. Blacks, Puerto Ricans, and Mexicans. They, they living in harmony. And that's, that's, you know, when I was living in Cambrini Green, believe it or not, it was a few white families. It was predominantly black, uh, predominantly black, but it was some whites and some Spanish. And during the uh, 1968 riot, 
Uh, then none of the white people get harmed or the Spanish people get harmed because we was a family. It was a village. This block over here, it's a village like I was when I come up in Cabrini Green. You see what I'm saying? And they have a village in Carbondale, Illinois, where, where my son uh, was found hung. You know where my son was found hung? How you doing? Hello. Yeah, and, and, and people down there is trying to help me. But then it got, you got some people that claim they trying to help, but they, they infiltrators, they perpetrators, and the opportunists. See, the infiltrators is the ones that the, the corrupted law enforcement officials send towards me as if they trying to help out. You see what I'm saying? They thinking they getting in a circle with me and, and uh, you know, but they infiltrating. Whatever I tell them, they go back and tell the corrupted law enforcement officials. See, that's why I tell certain people certain things and I know I ain't told nobody else. And then when the police get to repeating it, I know who told it to them because I told them something uh, that has nothing to do with what I'm seeking. I'm seeking justice for my son. Then you have the perpetrators. They go to the police saying one thing, claiming I said, then they come back and tell me what the police said. I don't want to hear what the police said. If you if you heard with the if the police told you something, then you know I got to watch you too. You see what I'm saying? If they told you something, I got to watch you. You know, then you got the opportunists. You see, the opportunists, they wait for something uh to happen if we find out that. Some white people killed my son, then the opportunists, they want to go try to start a riot, but I don't. The opportunists, uh, if I came down at a march, the opportunists uh, wants to try to get the infiltrators and the perpetrators to throw a rock so they can go in and get to tan up something or go in and get to stealing. But that ain't what it's about, getting the, uh, justice for my son. If anybody have those thoughts, See, to me, it don't matter what nationality the person is that had something to do with my son's death. It doesn't even matter if the police had something to do with my son's death. Let me tell you why. Because whoever had something to do with it, all I want is justice. I don't want a riot. I don't want to jump on a whole bunch of innocent people, getting a whole bunch of innocent people uh, hurt because of their nationality. If a certain nationality of, of people had something to do with my son's death, all I'm looking for is justice. You see what I'm saying? No more, no less. But again, did y'all see them streets? Them people talked up. Carvindale, when you have injustice like with my son, when they try to cover up and say uh, that he hung himself, and y'all know your family member ain't shot themselves, they ain't hung themselves, and you you see other things that might have happened, you got to keep on speaking up, even if you by yourself. Do you see me go looking for a crowd when I go down there? A lot of people ask me what they want, what I want them to do, but you know it's self-explanatory. What would you do if it was yours? But then some people wouldn't do nothing. But what you see me doing out there, you don't see me going out there. You see what I'm saying? Uh, calling people uh, certain things. You don't see me going out there starting a ride or breaking up nothing or breaking into nothing. You don't even see me talking about defunding the police. Because I'm the first to say in the black community, uh, you, we don't need to defund them because some is doing a job. Let me show you how some is doing a job. Last year during the, the George Floyd uh, thing uh, here in Chicago, a black sergeant, female, that was uh, a 30-year 30, 30 veteran, but 18 of those 30 years, she has been a sergeant. And she's suing, she's suing the, 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 the police, I believe, union, and suing the uh, police department or the city, one of the two, because... Her then commander that was a lieutenant, but he was an acting commander, and he's a commander now. 
instead of having them going into the black and Spanish neighborhoods where uh, the, it was needed, where it was chaos going on, he had them because the commander had the sergeant to get her team to go down in Bridgeport, a Bridgeport uh, uh, in the community called Bridgeport here in uh, Chicago, Illinois, over there by, I think, uh, I think it's by White Sox Park. How you doing? Over there by White Sox Park uh, because one of his neighbors said that some people got out the car and taking pictures or videoing the commander's house now. Ain't no trouble going in on the commander's house. Anybody know about Bridgeport? Ain't no, ain't no trouble going on over there. You see what I'm saying? But the sergeant did what she was told. And they stayed over there. And she said, wasn't no trouble going. And he told them why. He told them why that they had. He told them why they had them over there. And she's suing now. You see what I'm saying? Because one of his neighbors seen somebody out there with a camera like me. You follow what I'm saying? He had them to guard his house. You can't use your position to have people to guard your house. Ain't nothing going on by your house. People just videoing, letting them know. Here's go one of the corrupted commanders. I'm going to say this and go, y'all. Just because they wearing badges, that don't mean they for you. Whatever your nationality is, if you a God-fearing person and you're black and blacks is doing wrong, you ain't going to stand with them. If you a God-fearing person and you white and the white is doing wrong, you ain't going to stand with them. That goes for any other nationality. I'm going to leave as I came. Do y'all notice where I go most time? They cleaning up the streets. We breaking up. We trying to, we try to clean up the physical streets and at the same time we trying to clean up what these corrupted politicians and corrupted police is peace be still